Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? It is John back again for my daily uh, gratitudes and affirmations. This is going to be day number six. Um, I'm still not feeling uh, the best. Um, in fact, I think I was feeling better yesterday. Um, and I think uh, I feel a little worse today, unfortunately, but... I uh, still wanted to um, jump on before the end of the night and continue this practice of uh, daily affirmations and gratitudes. Um, this is something that I'm doing to inspire positive change and positive thinking in my life. And, um, you know, something that I hope other people are interested in doing and take the journey uh, alongside me. Um, to, to inspire and, and create and, and be positive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. I missed yesterday uh, doing a quote, uh, but I found a quote today that I actually uh, like quite a bit. Um, Every day the clock resets. Your wins don't matter. Your failures don't matter. Don't stress about what was. Fight for what could be. Um, that's a quote from Sean Higgins. Not too sure who that is. Uh, I'll have to do some research, but uh, yeah, I I really like that. Uh, fight for what could be. Uh, very much fits the idea of affirmations. Um, let's start with the gratitudes for the day. Um, I'm grateful that I am alive and that you know this sickness has not taken me. As, as dour as that sounds, as dreary as that sounds, um, I'm grateful that I'm still here and I'm still kicking. I got this. I'm going to make it through. It sucks, but I'm going to make it through. Uh, gratitude number two. I am grateful that, um, that George went to the supermarket today and got a whole host of of medications uh for the both of us to take <laughs> so really fantastic definitely not saying no to extra medicine right now really really a good thing um uh number three uh i am grateful for um being able to uh eat and not feel nauseous <laughs> all day from eating uh thankfully I, I have some sense of appetite again and uh yeah and I, I don't I don't feel like throwing up the whole time this is gonna be funny all my gratitudes are gonna be associated with being sick <laughs> um number four uh I am grateful that uh I can laugh today I'm grateful that I can smile even though uh, I'm in pain. Uh, number five. I am. I'm grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for medicine. <laughs> Not just grateful to receive it. Grateful it exists. Because this, this sucks. Uh, my head has been nonstop for, it feels like three days now. And, uh, I know this must sound easy to, to some people, right? Some people go through this constantly. So thankfully I'm not, I'm not constantly in pain. This is not my everyday. This is temporary. Um, but I am grateful that there are medications to make it easier. Um, it could be that, you know, these medications don't have any effect or, or never existed in the first place. And, uh, I, I would be in a really tough situation if not, um, I am grateful that this is the first time that I've gotten sick in almost two years now. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way with with, uh, uh, not a lot of people. I'm sure some people feel that way with COVID. You know, if you didn't actually get COVID yourself 
and you've been wearing a mask, more than likely you haven't been sick in the last two years um, if you didn't catch COVID. Um, and so I, I'm grateful that um, that this is the only time in the last two years that I've been sick. And it's definitely taught me to continue wearing masks and, and to continue, uh, you know, watching my health and monitoring it um, so that it's another two years before I have to feel anything close to this again. Uh, number seven, I'm grateful that um, I rescheduled my trip with my family. Um, I called them today and let them know that I wouldn't be able to make the trip to New Orleans, um, which was supposed to be leaving tomorrow. Um, and, and that would have been awful. That would have just been a bad situation. I, I definitely think I'm still sick. My cough hasn't gone away yet. It would have been a rough time. And I'm grateful that my dad understood and was okay with rescheduling. We actually rescheduled it to the 24th, so it's not all that far away. I think he wasn't feeling too well on his end either. So it just kind of worked out. Uh, number eight. Um, I'm grateful that... Um, uh, I'm, I'm grateful that... Uh, I watched... Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm struggling this isn't the part I'm supposed to struggle with. It's the affirmations. <laughs> uh, I'm grateful. Um, I'm grateful that it's not too, it's not overbearingly, excuse me, overbearingly hot right now. Um, that I can have my window open and get fresh air, especially because I need fresh air right now. The house feels kind of stale after being stuck for a couple of days and, and being sick in here. Even like having the windows open occasionally doesn't like account for it all. So um, I'm, I'm grateful that it's not too hot and we can have our windows open and enjoy that. Um... Number nine, um, I'm really grateful for water. I don't drink it enough. It sustains me. It's getting me through this madness. I'm really grateful for H2O. Um, number 10, um, I'm really grateful for good media. Um, I, uh, watch, not that I want to, like, compliment <laughs> Disney a shit ton, right? Like, as if Disney needs that or cares. Um, but I watched Turning Red, uh, a couple days ago. That was a really freaking great movie, man. Like, one of the better Disney movies in, in a minute. Like, I, I'm under the, the, not impression, but... I believe that Disney has figured out how to make different types uh, of really good animated films for different purposes, right? Like, I feel like um, Encanto is a great Disney movie, but it's a great Disney movie because it sells kids idols, and it sells music, and it sells action figures and etc 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 um i think encanto's a, a great movie for that i think when it comes to story pacing was terrible there wasn't really much of a a strong story there and a lot of things were not like fleshed out and like i don't know the the that there's a lot of a lot of criticisms I can levy at that, but um, Turning Red wasn't that musical. I'm um, selling you an idol, um, and it was this filling story from start to finish. It did hit, you know, major uh, all the major plot points that it needed to to establish its story. Its pacing was great. 
Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, and it got really video gamey at the end, which I super appreciate as somebody who likes video games. Um, there was just this video game element to it that was kind of wonderful to see in, um, in an animated movie like that. Um, yeah, so, uh, I am grateful for, you know, good media and, and to some extent, uh, not as great media because, you know, if we didn't have things like, you know, uh, I'm going to reference two other Disney movies. <laughs> I'm not a Disney head, I swear. Uh, but if we didn't have things like Frozen, then it'd be hard to see like how good things like Tangled are. Right? Um, so, in my opinion, I'm not a Frozen fan. I think it's a, a, a parody of... It's like the... It's the worst parody of all the Disney movies combined. <laughs> um... It's uh, kind of similar in that aspect of like Encanto where the, the feeling is very uh, skin deep. Um, it's there to sell. It's there to make money. It, it's it's not as important to tell a story than it is to make money with, with some of those Disney movies. Um, and then some of them, it is important to tell a story. A lot of the Pixar movies like to tell sto stories. Anyway, I've been talking about this bullshit for way too long. Uh, affirmations. Um, I am... I'm going to keep repeating that I'm somebody who's going to get healthy because I'm still sick and I want to get healthy. I'm somebody who's going to be healthy. And once I'm healthy, I'm going to stay healthy. I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to get my act together cuz I can I can't do this again. I, the older I get, the harder these these like getting sick is for sure. And I feel like I'm already 10 years too young to say that. Uh so number 1, I'm going to be healthy. Number 2, um I'm going to uh, reach a healthy weight and uh, be proud of myself for it. Uh, number three, um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna make some cool artwork over the next week that I can be proud of and share and be excited to see come to completion. I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> number uh number 4. <coughs> I am a person who is strong enough to handle um any of the uh um excuse me. Any of the uh the turbulences that that life uh brings anything that shakes up the ground i'm steady enough to handle it and i could keep it moving number five i am um my uh my vision for success is distinct and is uh achievable uh, and I will achieve it. Number um, six. Uh, I will create a community to stand behind me. Um, uh, as, as well as a community that I just... That I can work with. Be a part of. And help lead. Uh, number seven. Uh, I will... Uh, impress uh, those who are following me uh, with the things that I create. Uh, I, I, I will be somebody who brings something new to the table. Number eight. 
Um, I will. Um, uh, I will. I will lead an interesting life and uh, a life worth uh, telling others about. Uh, number nine, I will uh, create uh, things that outlast me. Uh, number ten, I will institute changes that outlast me. Uh, within the, the the realms of work that I do. Um, and that's going to be my uh, 10 gratitudes and affirmations for the day. Uh, please excuse any coughing or rubbing of the eyes or anything like that. I'm still, still not quite there. I'm sure you can tell. Um, but um, if you did hang out with me, you know, at, at any point in time between, you know, the first video to now, thank you. Uh, feel free to comment. I try to get back to all the comments. Um, I have not uh, recently. I'm, I'm going to go try and answer some comments now or respond. I think Rebecca, shout out to Rebecca Avery. Uh, check her channel out. She inspired me to do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, try and respond to to some of the comments left um down below i've been a little slower uh just because uh of of course being bedridden makes things a little bit harder um but yeah uh if you feel inspired to do something similar in your life that's awesome um definitely clue me in on that tag me whatever uh what, what with whatever you do uh, you've got a supporter here um and you know i i i want to take part in this uh building of positivity uh building a force uh by which we can all profit from and 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 you know uh not just profit in the money sense but profit in the sense of you know building an experience that benefits us all um yeah, with that said, uh, thanks for hanging out again, and uh, I will talk to you tomorrow when I'm back for uh, day seven of Gratitudes and Affirmations. Alrighty, peace. I feel like that was really close to my face. Alright.